Hi guys, this is Vineet again and uh, today I want to let you know how to install and run this application on your own machine on your own phone. So what the, the first thing which I will do here is I'll click on this clone or download button. First of all, I, I will download this repository in my local. Then I'll extract this folder. I'll open this folder before I open this folder I will just rename it so that I can have a better folder name so it is navigation I'll remove this example master navigation okay this is cool open this I will open index.js in my atom atom text editor cool so now you can see here is the folder structure here is the code the second thing which I'll do is I'll close all the tabs first of all then I'll open package.json I'll look into the dependencies which I have at this moment now I'll open the terminal and I will do the first thing is npm i i is the short form of install so I want react and uh, I want the latest library so l a t e s t latest second I will install react native this is also I want the current library so for this also l a t e s t latest and the third thing is react native router flux long name so I will just copy and paste it here l a t e s t latest and uh, I will update my package.json by writing this flag and I'll press the enter button this will install all the Mm, updated things in my folder so just let's wait for it for a few seconds it will take a little bit time and then the next command which I will run is uh, react native upgrade so that it will upgrade the upgrade the means Android and iOS folders iOS codes so before I do that I will remove 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 what's the name of this new project okay so first of all I will uninstall the application which I have already here for installing it I have to hold it here hold it here and okay cool so now the current application on my phone on my emulator has been uninstalled and I will reinstall it by after when when this installation will complete so just let's wait for it a few seconds extracting 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 after this installation you can see these everything will be installed this is 22 so it will become I don't know the latest is 28 this will become I think 53 or something this will this will I guess also change yeah this will 16.3 this is 55 this is 28 cool so the next thing which the next command which I'm going to run is uh, react native upgrade G R A T E. It's not update, it's upgrade. Okay, now press enter. And uh, so it's asking you the questions. Do you want to replace Git attributes? Yes. Press it Y and enter. And uh, now everything has been installed successfully. The my project is also upgraded. To the latest Android things so the next thing which I will do is I will run this command react native run a and d r o i d this will install the app on my emulator and I can then further debug it Build 53, build 62, build 72. It's running, it's running. Just wait for a few seconds and it will give you the screen where there will be a sign in and sign up pages and with the navigation and also I will create the 
backend authentication means integrating this front end to the back end and uh, how to check if the app means if uh, a user has already logged in while opening the application first time or second time so you can see now everything is fine this sign up is also working fine the sign in is also working fine email if i'll type and if i'll click on this one password so now everything is working fine i'll refresh it yeah cool so for now this is it in the next video i will be creating a backend for this front end for this application till then bye bye take care